Prevail. 1 0 win here at the Lamex against Crystal Palace. First of all, let's get your thoughts on the game. Um, <clears throat> I think that uh, we showed some really good signs today. It was all about improving, about game time, about players getting through the game, like we've always said. But what we've got to see is improvement every game. Uh, and I think that uh, what we saw today is a real clear plan on how we're playing. And players really started to show that they understand that. Players look fit, they look strong. Um, and, and now we know that we're going into two more games this week, you know, before Barrow, that we're in a good place in terms of the, the plan and, and, and we just have to keep improving. You can see throughout the game the number of chances we were creating. It was chance after chance, but somehow only a one-nil win. Yeah, I mean, we said it last year at times, didn't we, that the chances. So we have to make sure that that improves because um, we are creating a lot. I think that you know Reedy's only played 45 on Saturday and and an hour today. James Daly's improving all the time and he's come in and shows the endeavour that we all love here. So. Um, we've still got Norris to come back, we've still got List to come back, um, Charlie Carter has a 10, Arthur Reid has a 10, so we're, st we're missing some you know, key players, Jack Smith has a 4, um, we're missing some key players and uh, ultimately today, it was like I said, it was about game time back here at the Lamex again, which is fantastic for us with people watching us and I, I really hope, you know, I know it was 1-0, um, but I think that they can leave today excited by what they saw. And obviously after the early standing off for Palace, it kind of changed the aspect of the game where they were seeing a bit deeper and we, we had more of the ball, we just trying to find a way through the defence. Yeah, it was a shame because it was probably our best move of the whole match, to be honest. It was fantastic movement, fantastic take from Reedy through one-on-one -on -one and then, you know, the, the, he gets brought down. I think, you know, we tried to keep 11 on the pitch because it, it, we want it to work, we want it as a work practice, but uh, the referee's got a job to do. So unfortunately it did spoil it slightly, but, uh, it's going to happen in the season. You're going to play against ten. You're going to you've got to try and break them down. And you know we still had enough chances to win by a lot more than what we did. But really pleasing because the players are really taking on board what we're saying and 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 and, and improving every game, which is all we can ask of them. And we saw 21 different serious players today, um, but they all fit the system well, and they all seem to be listening to your instructions. Yeah, <clears throat> we had a few obviously uh, trialists in because uh, you know we are looking for a, a couple of players in key positions. I think that it's been a shame because obviously we, we we haven't been able to bring up the youth team players as much as we wanted to because of the COVID situation that we've had. It which is tough because we'd like them to get involved as well in these games so that they can understand what we're trying to do. Um, but all in all, I think to see Mackay, Alfie. Sam Dreyer, uh, Yass, all come on and, and I thought at one point, you know, they all touched the ball which and, and then Yass turned and had a fantastic effort. So it, it means that we're, we're moving as a club to get that, to get those youngsters in the first team. Um, and then obviously with the, with the lads that came in and, and wanted to impress on trial, I think that they did excellently as well. So got a lot to think about. We're in tomorrow to prepare now for Tuesday to work again because ultimately it's still pre-season and we've still got two weeks left to make sure that we're we're ready and firing come Barrow. And just finally, what was it like walking out of the tunnel, turning around to see it all of those smiling faces at you? Yeah, it was fantastic to see everyone. I think that um, it's been such a long time, hasn't it? Um, perfect night. You wanted to put a performance on for them because, you know, the, the, that, that whistle, that first whistle was, everyone was, you know, like a start of a horse race at Cheltenham. You could hear the roar kind of thing. So, um, and then Luther decided to dampen it slightly <laughs> with his first touch, but he, um, I'll forgive him that. Um, it was great to see everyone. We were really excited by the group we've put together, the, the distance they've come over the last few weeks in terms of understanding what we want, understanding what the club's about. Um, and I think we've got a really fantastic group of people. Um, and I hope that this year the, the fans can come back after a really tough year and really enjoy what we're doing here because you know we really believe in this group and believe that we're on to hopefully something really special. Cheers, Thank you.